victory for the American people and for our Constitution. This is a great victory for our Constitution. That was President Trump today, after the Supreme Court said it is upholding the latest version of the president's travel ban. Now, while he declared it a victory, people protested outside of the high court's building today. Some consider the ban controversial because it blocks U.S. entry to people from multiple countries that are mostly Muslim. Now, Chief Justice John Roberts said the majority on the high court focused on presidential authority rather than the president's provocative statements as a candidate and president. Justice Sonia Sotomayor wrote the dissenting opinion, saying the court failed to recognize key discrimination issues. Just because the Supreme Court decides that something is legal doesn't make it right and doesn't make it moral. Slavery was legal. Segregation was legal. Internment of Japanese Americans was legal. The ban took effect in December. It does not affect lawful permanent residents of the U.S., dual citizens, or people who have already begun their visa process. There have been three different versions of this travel ban since it was first attempted 17 months ago. WSA 9's Michael Quander explains the three things you need to know about the Supreme Court's decision. First, what countries does this travel ban affect? There's been a lot of confusion over the last 17 months. Countries have been added to the list, others taken off. So I want you to take a look at the places we've highlighted in red. You can see Venezuela, Libya, Somalia, Syria, Iran, Yemen, and North Korea. That's seven countries across three different continents. Next, what does this mean for immediate travel? Does this ban go into effect right away? Well, back in December, the Supreme Court temporarily allowed the travel ban to be in full effect while the justices came up with their decision. So refugees, immigrants, and some people with visas from those seven countries were not allowed to enter the U.S. The two international airports in the D.C. area are still trying to sort out what this latest decision might mean for their airports. A spokesperson for BWI says passengers are advised to check with their airlines and embassies before making any travel plans to those affected countries. Look, it doesn't look like things are going crazy and flights are being canceled right now because airports have operated under this immigration law for the last six months. This ruling simply makes that ban more permanent. Michael Quander, WUSA 9. Michael also reached out to U.S. Customs and Border Patrol to ask what they will be doing differently and if this ruling will affect your travel plans. We're still waiting to hear back.